Hello viewers, welcome to Mesology. Today I will show you how to make a slide to see the stomata for yourself. It's not a hard task, but it will get you motivated towards biology. Let's get started. All that you need are few leaves. You need few leaves which you can keep, you know, soaked in water. Here is a leaf. Let me show it to you. This is a leaf that you can well see. This leaf is showing the midrib and the veins which are also quite prominent. Other than that, if I show you the back side of the leaf, do you find some difference in the color? I think you are understanding that the back side of the leaf is pale green while the upper surface of the leaf is bright green. Here the reason is this is a dorsiventral leaf. Now how do I prove it to you? This is a dorsiventral leaf because it has more stomata on the lower surface of the leaf and they have less stomata on the upper surface of the leaf. Now, there are more points on which we can prove that this is a dorsiventral leaf. See, if you see it even closer, you will find in between the larger veins that are so prominent, there are more network like structures running between the veins those are called the reticulate venation and reticulate venation is only possible in a dorsiventral leaf dorsi and ventral that is the dorsal side looks different from the ventral side now do we have any other kind of leaves Yes, we do. Now, let me show you this leaf. Yeah, let me make it a little, you know, like dry. See this leaf. If you see this leaf, you hardly find any difference in the color on this side and on the opposite side. They will look almost the same in the intensity of the green color and do you find any of the prominent midrib and other veins they are not very prominent but yes there are veins all throughout but it is never in the form of a network it is slightly in the form of you know the straight lines passing parallel to one another almost without any networking in between them. This kind of leaves are called parallel leaves and these leaves are found in plants that grow from the monocot seeds while our concern today is about the dicot leaf, a leaf which has two different, you know, upper and lower layer the upper layer or upper surface of the leaf is with less stomata and the lower surface of the leaf is with more stomata and here it will be easier for us to use this leaf to make a slide for to show the stomata let us get started what will we do for this i kept the leaf soaked in water. Why? Otherwise the stomata may get shrunken. Now here I have to do something very very carefully with the leaf. I will show you what am I trying. First of all I will take a slide. I have taken a slide and I have kept it here. Now I will take this leaf and I will try to tear it from one end see here when i try to tear it from one end then what do i do i will try to tear the leaf from one end so that i can get the thin cuticle 
you know coming out from the lower surface of the leaf that means my tearing has to be when i hold the leaf with the upper surface towards my eyes and then slowly slowly when i start tearing the leaf i have to be very careful that i am getting a thin layer that comes out you know of it it's not a very easy task this needs a very thorough attention you no know, maybe i have plucked the leaf quite a little earlier that's why it is taking time now watch it very keenly if i try tearing it like this let's see what happens do i get the you know thin layer i have to be very careful i have to be very careful let me see if i start getting it i hope i'm getting it yes i'm getting the you know cuticular layer yes you can see the cuticular layer has started coming out so this cuticular layer i can cut it out under water after soaking it in water and then i have to place it over the you know glass slide so if i take it out on this surface what will it have it will indeed have stomata because it's on the lower surface so it will have good number of stomata on it let me show it to you i have got a little of the you know cuticular layer and i'm placing it on the slide so i have placed it on the slide and when i place it on the slide my first work will be to take a drop of water i will take a drop of water and put it on the portion where i have put the thin layer of the epidermis now i have placed it next i have a solution this is called safranin the safranin is generally used for most of the anatomical and histological preparation of slides so i will take a drop of it and then i will put it over the slide where it has the portion of this you may put two three drops but later you will have to drain it yes i have put it i will have to allow this stain to stand for one or two minutes you can even keep it for three four minutes but it is possible that when i keep it for you know two three minutes as well the stain would be taken and then what we have to do is we have to see it under a microscope and then under a microscope you will be able to see the structure of stomata if you make a magnification of 60 to 100 you will be able to see the you know structure of the stoma or plural stomata spread throughout the lower surface which you know is more on the lower surface of a dorsiventral leaf now after we increase the magnification if we increase the magnification to 200 or higher where you need a compound microscope at least you know which has two objectives and must be with a you know eyepiece having minimum of 10 to 50 and a uh, you know like you will also have a objective lens who will be having a minimum of 
10 or 100. So if you have 10 on the you know objective and if you have 50 on the eyepiece naturally 50 into 10 will be 500 times. So let's see how does it look under a microscope. I have a handy microscope with me. Now this handy microscope that I am trying to show it to you is not only very easy to handle but it shows beautiful magnified images as well. This is you know a small microscope not very expensive but still you can use it wonderfully to arouse your interest in biological sciences. Let me show you the microscope. Here this is the microscope. Here what you see is children this is where you will put your eye that is the eyepiece. Then you have here a LED light. A place where a LED light can be used. This is if you press this an LED light starts glowing and that makes the objective you know very easy to observe. The objective gets focused and then you can you know see the object very care you know clearly. I have watched it. Now I will try to watch it under the microscope. Now there is a place where you can adjust to see the image clearly. This is the place for adjustment. This is where you can keep rotating to find out where the image is coming with clarity and then you have a place to increase the magnification here this button is for changing the magnification it is highest when it is coming towards the led light and it is lower when you are taking it you know here so this is mean most minimum is magnification which is 60 times and then it is here 200 to 250 times it goes depending upon which you know brand you buy and how costly it is. So here you can see the stomata even under a magnification of 60 times it will be visible but then I don't have a digital way directly to focus it on the screen. So what will I have to do is I'll have to take the images on the, you know, the images will have to be taken on the screen of a mobile. Let me try out and show it to you. How do you see the images? I have to. Yes, it is already visible. Let me take the image at a low magnification and then show it to you and then finally after that I will also be showing it to you. Okay, this is looking marvelous. I'll Definitely you will be excited to see this. Now I change the magnification and trying it to show it to you once again how it looks under the high magnification. Here. Absolutely fine. So the stomata are openings on the surface of leaves basically more on the lower surface of leaves or on other green parts of a plant as well but when it comes to hard woody structures it doesn't have stomata it has lenticels now what are the structures present in a stoma stoma are the opening in the center of the structure which allows exchange of gases then it is surrounded on the sides by epidermal cells and in the center of the 
stomatal structure you have two bean shaped guard cells and this bean shaped guard cells they mostly open during day time because the plant is absorbing plentiful of water as the plant is performing photosynthesis and manufacturing glucose because the guard cells have plentiful of chloroplast which allows it to perform photosynthesis at a higher rate and that helps the build up of high concentration in the guard cells which gets the water you know into the guard cells by endosmosis and when endosmosis brings in more water into the guard cells the inner lining of the guard cell facing the opening or the stoma which is thick do not you know bulge out too much rather the outer surface of the guard cells they are very thin so they tend to bulge out and then they also make the opening at the center of the stomata a little wider and that is when we say the stomata is open rather stomata is a plural word and stoma is open while during night since there is no photosynthesis not much of gradient differences between different cells so turgidity is also not very high in the guard cells and the stoma tends to close or the stomatal apparatus remains closed thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel you can use this microscope a very handy one but its magnification is quite good and you can see almost every anatomical structure very clearly before you start on with a very high magnification microscope because this is very budget friendly as well as a student i will always say start with this get highly interested into the subject then plunge further and you may choose to buy things of higher order thank you so much happy learning